Okay, so I had some uh, requests here to real quick just go through how to make um, like snow and rain and weather effects like that. So I'm just going to show you a, a really simple way of doing it here real quick. Um, and I'm going to go to my content browser, which, um, let's see, so I'm just going to resize this real quick, sorry. Alright, and um, I loaded the... Uh, the UT weather package, um, which you probably won't have unless, or I guess UN weather, but uh, you probably won't have it unless you had Unreal Tournament 3. So if you don't have Unreal Tournament 3, it's, it's not that hard to make this. Um, all that the material is here is they went and made a, a very small rain texture. The planer, that just makes it move up and down, uh, like you see here. And then basically the, uh, the text cord that's basically just tiling. So if we had this at one and one, it would just be huge rain. So it's, it's not really that big of a deal here. Um, and it's not hard to make if, if you need to make one your own. So uh, I'm going to keep this selected though for now. And all right, here's just a, a real simple square room with one, one light in it. I haven't rebuilt the lighting or anything like that yet. I just made a, a real quick thing here. Um, so if, if you go in. Uh, Okay, well, just so you know, the, the room is a cube. It's um, uh, 1024 by 1024 by 1024 with a wall thickness of 16, and it's a hollow wall. Uh, real simple. So just then if you go to um, uh, the sheet here, which is basically a plane, I set that to 1024 by 1024 also just because that's the height of the room and also the, the width of the room. So you can do a lot of stuff with this, um, but I, I just want to show you this real quick. Uh, one thing about the uh, the rain texture here is that it's double-sided, uh, so no matter what side of the plane you're on, you're still going to see the rain. Uh, normally that's not the case if it's just single-sided. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can see this uh, red line around here. That's my my uh, sheet that I've, that I've made here. So I'm going to go ahead and add it, and you see I have this, uh, this huge, well I guess very small actually, sideways rain. And uh, surprise, we don't really want that, so I'm going to quick um, rotate this here. And you're not going to see the effects right away, but I'm going to rotate it, then bring it over here. And I'm going to duplicate by pressing Alt and holding it while I drag new ones here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. And then I'm going to do it again here, Alt and then drag while rotating though so that I can get these uh, up here instead and it doesn't really matter too much for the sake of this tutorial how well lined up it is but uh, there it is anyways okay so you still just see the sideways rain though that's because we need to rebuild so I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild all because that way it'll redo the geometry and also the lighting and this will take just a minute um, it really depends on your processor and things like that. So it's going to go pretty quick for me here. And I'm done. So here it is, and it's already it's already pretty much done to tell you the truth. So I'll go ahead and play from here. And you can see all this falling rain. And that's really all there is to it. Um, you can see, though, it's a very simplistic way of doing it. Uh, it doesn't take many resources. But there's, you know, there's no effect when it hits the ground or anything. Um, so like I said, it's, it's very simplistic. But like if you play Gears of War, you know, or uh, Unreal Tournament 3 or anything like that, you'll see they use this process actually kind of a lot. Except usually when they do it, they actually make a, a mesh and, you know, 3DS Max or, or whatever. And then they, they use that instead. Um, and it's, it's essentially the same thing.